The here in Edmonton, the rain is a falling. The faucet is a dripping and the kids are bawling. One of them is toddling and one is a crawling. And one's on the way. I'm glad the Rockwell Wells just signed a million dollar pack. And Debbie's here. We're gonna a brand new act. But here in the Pika, the screen doors are banging. The coffee's boiling over and the wash needs a hand. One wants a cookie and one wants a changing hand. No, not you, honey. I was talking to the baby. Wait a minute, honey. The doorbell. Honey, could you stop at the market and hello, hello? Well, I'll be. The girls in New York City, they all march for women's lift. Better homes and gardens shows a modern way to live. The few may change the world tomorrow, but meanwhile today. One needs a spanking man, one needs a hugging lord. One's on the way. From work, and he said, "Loretta, I've been listening to the radio, and there's girl singers that's out there singing on the radio, that's making money that can't sing any better than you can." So I think I'm gonna try to do something with your singing. Well, I really didn't know what he had in mind, 'cause he'd never heard me sing, except walking in the house and catching me rock, rocking the babies to sleep. He said, "There's a little country band that plays not too far from here on Saturday night." He said they play for a little country dance. Says Saturday night we'll go listen to him. Tickle me to death, 'cause with four kids you don't get to go nowhere. Saturday night come along and he got me a babysitter. My first big night out, my first big dance. We got to the dance hall and got just a little too much to drink. Got a little bit loud. Went up to the bandstand and hollered, "Hey, next to Kitty Wells, I've got one of the greatest country girl singers here in the world." And said, "I want you to let her get up and sing." And friends, I took off running. I heard one of the guys in the band say, "We don't let nobody get up and sing here." Well, as the night went on, it got a little worse, and a little worse, and a little worse. Aggravated every one of them to death. Finally, one of them looked down at him and said, "Now listen, if this girl can sing as good as you say she can, you bring her over Wednesday night. So we tape a half-hour country music show and we play it back on the radio on Saturday." Said, "Well, we'll put her right on the radio." They figured it, forget it. And Lord, I was hoping so. He didn't. Wednesday night come along when he come in from work and looked at me and said, "Are you ready?" And I said, "No." He said, "Get that way." And I did. We went over to the musicians' home and they come to the door. We knocked on the door and they come to the door and looked down at us and looked like they said to themselves, "Gee, what have we got ourselves into?" Well, one of them looked at me and says, "What do you want to sing?" 
I only knew one song all the way through. And I said, there he goes. He says, what key do you do that in? And I said, I don't know. He hit a key and I hung on. The next morning, they come over at my house and they hired me to sing with them every Saturday night for five dollars. I knew I was going to get rich. I saved all my money up and I bought me a white hat, white boots, a black skirt with big long white fringe, a black shirt with big old red roses. Annie Oakley would have been ashamed to have stood up beside of me. I strapped my guitar around my neck and I headed for Nashville, Tennessee. I'm sure if my husband would have ever dreamed, the music business would have taken us away from each other so much, so long at a time, he'd have never asked me to sing that first song. Now, I know you read articles every now and then where he gets out, gets a little too much to drink, but he gets lonely. He stays home and does all the farming, takes care of all the kids. All the kids' problems or tries to, and if you've got kids, you know that's impossible. There ain't no way. So when he gets lonesome, he gets drunk. And he gets lonesome every night. So one day I wrote him a song. Called him up about three o'clock in the morning and I said, honey, I wrote you a song. Which I made a mistake by calling him up at that time of night. He said, well, what is it? And I said, don't come home with drinking with loving on your mind. That's what it is. Come and tell me something. You say I ought to know that he don't love me anymore and I'll have to let him go. You say You can't Cause you ain't woman enough To take my man Brags around town that you've been a loving my man. But the man I love when he picks up trash, he puts it in a garbage can. That's what you look like to me. What I see is a pity. You better close your face and stay out of my way if you don't want to go to Fish City. If you don't want to go to Fish City, you better detour around my town. Cause I'll grab you by the hair of the head And I'll lift you up to the ground I'm not a saint, my baby's a saint Cause he ain't that he won't cat around with a kitty I'm here to tell you Galileo for a man If you don't want to go to Fish City You've been out with all the boys and you ended up half time. Left the red light, they just don't fix, leave the bar or be behind. And don't come home or drink up with loving on your mind. You don't need none of mine So don't come home or drink up With loving on your mind Remember this one? Well, I like my loving done country style And this little girl would walk a country mom To find her a good old slow talk A country boy, I said a country boy I'm a fat I can be so I hope you like on what you see If you're looking at me You're looking at country You don't see no city when you look at me Cause the country's all I am I love a running barefooted through the open world fields And I love that country high Well you say I'm a man just to fit your plan But does it work with your hand if you're looking at me, you're looking at me. 
right there and do a song called Tango Become the Chill. Sometime at night while you're fast asleep I lie here alone in the darkness and we so sorry and sad but that's part of the deal when the tingle becomes a chill Loving you, I swear by the breath in my body that's true. But a woman can't help the way that she feels when the tingle becomes a chill, Bobby. Put your holler 
level ground that's where we put our gardens and the way butcher holler got its name is like this my grandmother was a butcher my grandfather was a web and friends are just so happened to be a lot more butchers than they were webs and the butchers won out and that's how it got its name butcher holler Shovel coal to make a poor man's dollar. My daddy worked all night in the van of coal miners. All day long in the field of hoeing corn. Mommy rocked the babies that night and read the Bible by the coal oil line. Everything would start. Oh, 
out there tonight feel the same way about your daddy as I did about my daddy. My daddy died in 59. I didn't start singing until 61, so daddy never did get to hear his coal miner's daughter sing on stage. I know all of you have a lot of memories of your daddy. I got a lot of memories of my daddy, too. And I'd like to share just a couple of my memories with you, if you don't mind. I'd like to share the one memory that I remember the most and I love the most. is a memory of in the wintertime when the snow was on the ground. The wind was blowing the snow through the cracks of the house. Daddy had sat in front of the old fireplace and he'd rocked two and three kids at one time. And most of the time, I was one of them kids. In fact, Daddy rocked me right up till I got married. I married very young. I kind of walked out of my daddy's arms into my husband's arms. Then there were times that were quite funny. Memories that I remember of Daddy. And I think one of the funniest ones was, Daddy never called me Loretta, it was always Loretta. And I was the only girl till I was nine years old. I was kind of spoiled. I was daddy's pet. I got into everything I was big enough to get into. I climbed trees. I jumped fences. Daddy would always say to me, now, Loretta, if you climb that tree and you fall out and get hurt, you're going to get whooped. Just as sure as I climbed a tree and I fell out and got hurt, daddy'd pick me up and spank me before he'd ever look to see if I was dead or alive. 